Revit software offers structural engineers the tools they need to design building projects. If you want to export this Revit model to Advanced Hill, just go to the Add-ins ribbon to access the Advanced Hill extension for Revit. In Advanced Hill, you can then import the file from Revit by pressing the import icon. You get an Advanced Hill model which contains not just the structure, but also steel connections, keeping them as intelligent parametry connections. Advanced Hill has powerful tools for missing steel creation. You can quickly generate straight and spiral stairs, straight and curved railings, cage ladders, with the use of dedicated wizards. Let's start with the creation of a railing on the top of this floor beam. Once the insertion points are picked, a complete railing with post, top end rail, middle end rail, quick rail and connections is inserted in the 3D model. It's easy to go through the different options in the dialog, specify the connection type between posts and supporting beam, and change the end of the end rail type. Eyebrows can be automatically created between the last posts and the top end rail. Let's continue with the creation of a railing along this other floor beam. It's easy to reuse predefined settings previously saved in the library, or you can transfer properties from the first railing to the second one. You can extend or shorten a railing by moving the ball grip at one of the railing ends. Shop drawings can be generated automatically by using one of the different drawing styles dedicated to mission steel. Views of the railing get labeled and dimensioned automatically on the assembly drawing. Once the model is completed, it's easy to export it back to Revit. After the export file is created, the Revit user can use the synchronization feature to load the file and see the differences between the Revit model and the advanced steel model. The different colors clearly show what has been added, modified or deleted. The Revit user has a full control of these changes and can either accept them one by one or apply all of them in one click. As a result, we get an up-to-date Revit model containing the railings inserted in the advanced model.